Olympic gold medalists are the best in the world at what they do. They train for years and years to get a chance to go to the Olympics. To win the gold is absolutely amazing. Have you ever wondered what happened to former Olympians after they won the gold? Well, stick around and keep watching. You may be surprised at which one of these Olympic legends appeared on Playboy magazine after her Olympic career. Facts First presents 25 Olympic gold medalists today, life after the Olympics. If you're a fan of the Olympics, click the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for more videos from Factsverse. Matt Biondi. Matt is a great swimmer and an eight-time gold medalist. He won his first gold medal at the 1984 Los Angeles Games. Matt is a butterfly and freestyle swimmer, and in 1988, he won five gold medals at the Games in Seoul. In Barcelona in 1992, he won two more gold medals. Matt once held five world records at the same time, and today, he's the head coach of the Sierra Canyon Swim and Dive Team. Apollo Ono. Apollo is the king of the Winter Olympics. He won his first gold medal in 2002. After that, he went on to win seven more gold medals. Since retiring, Apollo has worked as a commentator for coverage during the 2014 and 2018 Winter Games. In 2007, he was a contestant on Dancing with the Stars, and he and his partner, Julianne Huff, won. He returned for the All-Star Edition, and he and his partner came in fifth place. Mary Lou Retton. Mary Lou made Olympic history in 1984 when she became the first American woman to win the all-around gold medal in gymnastics. She added added two silver and two bronze to her tally when she competed at the LA Games, but she didn't get the gold. In 1997, Mary Lou was inducted into the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame. In 2004, she became a member of the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. Missy Franklin. In 2012, when Missy was just 17 years old, she made her debut at the London Games. She managed to take home four gold medals. In 2016, Missy competed in the Games again, and she won her fifth gold medal. Missy retired from swimming in December 2018, and we haven't heard much from her since. Bruce Caitlyn Jenner. Of all the people on this list, Bruce Jenner has changed the most. During the 1976 Olympics in Montreal, he won a gold medal in the men's decathlon. He was deemed the world's greatest athlete, which led him to a life of fame and fortune. After marrying Kris Jenner, she became his manager, and he started doing speaking engagements. He was the stepfather of Kris's four children, and then the couple had two daughters of their own, Kendall and Kylie. He appeared on the family show Keeping Up with the Kardashians for years. In April 2015, Bruce came out as a trans woman and changed his name to Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn had her own show, I Am Kate, for two years. In April 2017, she released her memoir, The Secrets of My Life. Bjorn Daly. Between 1992 and 1998, Bjorn dominated in cross-country skiing. During this time, he won eight gold medals. Shortly before the 2002 Olympics, he was forced to retire after a serious roller skiing accident. Since then, Bjorn has found success in fashion and real estate. He's made over a half billion kroner in real estate, so clearly he did well after retiring. Sawao Kato. Sawao was a member of the Japanese men's gymnastics team in the late 60s and early 70s, and he won 12 gold medals. He's one of only 10 athletes to have won eight or more gold medals. His accomplishments earned him a spot in the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame in 2001. Today, he's 72 years old and is a professor emeritus at the University of Tsukuba. Larissa Latinina. Larissa is one of the greatest Olympic gymnastics ever to compete, and she won nine gold medals. She won 14 medals in all, which was a record that she held for 50 years. After stepping away from gymnastics, she started coaching the Soviet women's gymnastic team. She helped lead them to the gold in 1968, 1972, and 1976. Today, Larissa is 84 years old, and she's living in Semyonov in Russia. She's considered a pioneer in the Soviet Union's gymnastics team. Kobe Bryant Kobe was a five-time NBA champ, third all-time leading scorer, and he also won two gold medals. He helped lead the U.S. team to victory in 2008 and 2012. After Kobe retired from basketball, he kept pretty busy. He won an Oscar. He established Kobe Inc. and wrote a book. Sadly, Kobe's life was cut short when he and his daughter and seven others were killed in a helicopter accident. Michaela Maroney Michaela wowed everyone at the 2012 London Olympics. After winning a silver medal, she went on to win the gold. After suffering a series of injuries, Michaela retired. In 2018, she won the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at the ESPY Awards. Michaela has a passion for music, and she's working on her first single. Dana Vollmer Dana made her Olympic debut at the 2004 Games in Athens. Her team won a gold medal and also set a world record. She missed out on the 2008 Olympics and returned in 2012 and was better than ever. She won three gold medals there and set another world record. In Rio in 2016, she won another gold medal. Dana announced she was retiring in 2019 and is now focusing on her family. Dana is also an ambassador for the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women program. Kurt Angle. Before Kurt became one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time, he was one of the best freestyle wrestlers in the world. He competed in the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta with a broken neck. After 
After overcoming his injury, he won the gold in the heavyweight weight class. Kurt eventually joined the WWE, and he stayed there until retiring after WrestleMania 35. He's still part of the company and has been inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame and the International Sports Hall of Fame. Ryan Lochte. Ryan is one of the greatest swimmers of all time. He's a six-time gold medal winner, and he holds four world records. After being suspended by the United States Anti-Doping Agency for an illegal IV infusion, he's working on competing in the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. In 2019, he competed on Celebrity Big Brother, and he finished in 10th place. Nadia Comaneci. During the 1976 Games in Montreal, Nadia became a gymnastics legend. She became the first gymnast ever to receive a perfect 10 at the Olympics. This first perfect 10 led to seven more perfect scores. During her Olympic career, Nadia won five gold medals. In 1989, she defected from Romania to become an American citizen. She's married to Bart Connor, who's also an Olympic gold medal gymnast, and she does a lot of work for charities involved with the Special Olympics. Olympics. Amanda Beard. Amanda is from Newport Beach and made her Olympic debut in the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta at the age of 14. There, she won a gold medal and two silver medals. She won another gold medal in 2004. Outside of swimming, Amanda appeared in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue and Playboy. She also wrote an autobiography, In the Water, They Can't See You Cry. Today, she's married with two children and she works as a motivational speaker. Allie Raceman. Allie is a three-time gold medalist. She's also a very strong woman. She's one of the 141 victims of Larry Nassar and she received the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at the 2018 ESPY Awards. She's been a leader in the fight against Nassar and the U.S. gymnastic team. Since she last competed, Allie has found great success as a model, and she appeared in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue several times. There's no word yet if Allie will be competing in the 2020 Games in Tokyo. Carl Lewis. Carl is one of the best athletes of all time. He won nine gold medals, and four of them were in the long jump. Today, he owns a marketing company called CLEG, and he's appeared on multiple TV shows and films. He's also the assistant track coach at the University of Houston, which is his alma mater. Mark Spitz. Mark is a nine-time Olympic gold medalist, and he's the second greatest swimmer of all time. He won two gold medals at the 1968 Games and dominated the 1972 Games, where he won seven gold medals. He also set a world record. Mark retired when he was 22 and moved on to television. He started working for ABC Sports in 1976, and today he gives lectures all over the world. Greg Luganis. Greg is the greatest diver in history. He's the only male in history to sweep both diving events in back-to-back -back Olympics. In 1995, he revealed that he was HIV positive, and today he's an HIV awareness activist. Recently, Greg was inducted into the California Sports Hall of Fame and the National Gay and Lesbian Sports Hall of Fame. During the 2015 World Games Special Olympics, he was a torchbearer. Birgit Fischer. Birgit is a German kayaker who made her Olympic debut in 1980, where she won a gold medal. In 1988, she won two more. After announcing her retirement, Birgit came out to compete in the 1992 Games, where she won her fourth gold medal. She won her fifth in 1996, and then two more in 2000. Today, the eight-time gold medalist is working as a photographer. Jackie joyner Kersey. Jackie overcame severe asthma to excel in track and field. Jackie's a three-time gold medal winner, and she holds the world record for the heptathlon. Today, she's on the board of directors for USA Track and Field. She also spends a lot of her time promoting children's education and women's rights. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was one of the greatest boxers of all time. When he was 18, he won a gold medal in the 1960 Olympics in Rome. When his boxing career came to an end, he became a Grammy nominated musician. Sadly, he had Parkinson's disease for the last 30 years of his life, and he died in 2016. He will forever be a legend. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was part of the Dream Team, who won two gold medals. He's also one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Today, he's a majority owner of the Charlotte Hornets and works hard on his iconic Jordan brand, MJ. In 2014, Michael became a billionaire. Mia Hamm. When you look at Mia Hamm, you can't help but picture a soccer ball. She was one of the best in the game. During the 1996 Olympics, Mia won the gold. She won a second gold medal in Athens during the 2006 Olympics. Olympic Games. Since Mia retired, she's been inducted into the Texas and Alabama Sports Hall of Fame. She was also inducted in the National Soccer Hall of Fame and the World Football Hall of Fame. In 2003, Mia married Nomar Garcia Parra, who is a former shortstop for the Red Sox. Today, she's the co-owner of the MLS club LAFC. Usain Bolt. Usain is considered to be the greatest sprinter of all time and is known as a human lightning bolt, which is fitting considering his last name. Usain is the world record holder for the 100 meters, 200 meters, and 4x100 meters relay. Usain was in three consecutive Olympic Games, and he won the gold in the 100 and 200 meters. He added two gold medals to that in the 4x100 relays in the 2012 and 2016 games. After competing in the 2017 World Athletics Championship, Usain decided to play soccer. For eight weeks in 2018, he played with the Central Coast Mariners of Australia's A-League. Usain left the team after eight weeks, and today he's working with Bolt Mobility. It's an electric scooter company that he co-founded in 2018. That wraps up our list. Do you remember 
seeing any of these Olympians compete? Tell us about it in the comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more videos from Factsverse.